Good evening, Coach Matt Drinkon here on a wonderful Friday night on March 15, 2019. Very excited about tonight. It's going to be a different Friday night than usual. Uh, first of all, I want to wrap up today, uh, Day in Life of Business Coach. I'm going to share with you some plans and some strategy. And if you're a business person watching this or you're someone that's wanting to uh, have a better family life or if you're someone who's wanting to just in general uh, have improvement, personal development and improvement, then this is going to be a good listen for you. I'm going to share with you some keys on that. And to get started tonight, Let's talk about this day in the life of the business coach. Today, on Friday, I ended up having two coaching calls. As those of you who follow me know, Friday is an intentionally uh, limited day for the coaching calls. Uh, I leave it normally for personal recreation, planning, and working hard on myself and on my business. So today we had two coaching calls. We had a 7.30 a.m. Then we had uh, took my, my daughters to the dentist for the first time, so that was fun. And that is terrifying, as you would imagine, so that was fun. And then we had a call at 10. So by 10.30, I'm done coaching for the day on, on official calls. So I worked on some client projects, some meaning I worked on four client projects until 12.50. Got the kids from school, came home, and then I went to work on some proactive me stuff. Uh, I worked on my LinkedIn article. It'll come out uh, uh, I, I put the finishing touches on it today at a coffee shop, so it'll come out on Monday morning. So excited about that. And then I worked on proactive projects for next week. Next week's going to be a week. Uh, every year I take one or two weeks and, and do a guy's weekend or do a family vacation. And just so happens the guy's weekend is going to be this weekend. It's kind of a staycation, so to speak, So I'm staying around here. Uh, but I'll be playing some golf and spend some time with some good friends so that's happening next week. So I had to plan out, uh, intentionally plan out the next two weeks to make sure that we're set for that. I got a keynote address, speaking to a large group on Wednesday of next week in a foreign city. So uh, Monday and Tuesday are very intentional. They're very jam-packed, full of coaching calls. And then we've got uh, Wednesday's on-site presentation for the team, for a large group. And then we've got uh, Thursday and Friday uh, calls you know, from the car and no calls on Friday. So that's the week. That's next week as well. You'll still get the daily day in life for the coach in the morning and the evening. So let's talk business strategy and just kind of have an open forum here on you know, where, where to spend a Friday night. So there was a time back before kids, back before marriage, there was a time in my single days of, of sometimes misspent youth where I would take a Friday night and it would be like the start to the weekend, be a big party night, be stay out all night and, and stay up till... You know, all hours of the night and sleep in on Saturday. And those days, although I don't regret any of them and they were very fun for a long time, we don't do those days anymore. Tonight is going to be a night where we grind and work hard on the business. Uh, and when I say work hard on the business, I mean that I've been putting out these videos now for 30 days, 31 days since February 10th. And what is that? 32, 33 days? Uh, so I've been doing this now for over a month. And what I've learned in the month is uh, the stuff I've got, although it's okay and it is a documentation representation of what I'm really doing, I feel there's a great opportunity to get better at it. And I'm only a month in. I'm only a little bit over 120 posts into Instagram, Facebook, uh, a little bit less on YouTube and about the same on Twitter. So I'm totally excited about it. I'm jacked about it. This is a long-term project. This is not a short-term do it for a month or two or three and try to make sales and then if it doesn't happen then move on. This is not a goal with the intended end in mind of selling. This is totally a goal of sharing and sharing me and what I'm up to and hoping to inspire and add a dose of positive energy and structure and systematic mental discipline to this world. And if people can get a hold of this, if you the listener can hear me speaking now and feel compelled to take one step forward in that discipline direction, then I feel that that momentum you build has made it worth it for me to share this. Because I've said before, this is what I'm already doing every day anyways. I'm already every morning having my own personal daily kickoff, setting the intent, uh, reviewing my day to start, and reflecting on my day at the end. And, and well, now I'm talking to a camera. Many times I talk to myself or reflect to myself on what's happened and what I like to do. So I feel this is a good open forum to share that and excited about it. So it's, it's here to stay, baby, and we're going to keep moving forward with it. So the mission of this evening, starting right now at approximately 7.15 p.m. Eastern Time, the mission of this evening 
is to take the next two to three hours while my wife is out with her good friends and to grind it. What I mean by that is to use this time to invest in my business strategy. I'm already doing it. I'm already using all these social media channels to go and put forth content and share my opinion, share my thoughts. Now that I've just dove into the deep end of the pool and I've got a little bit of experience in just diving in and seeing what happens, I've got a little bit of a base and a foundation that I've, I've done. Now it's time to learn how to get better at it. And this is where the coaching mindset comes in where you know progress, not perfection, patience, not perfection, right? Persistence, not perfection. Uh, there's a theme here, not perfection at the end, right? It's continuing to work hard on your craft and fine tune over time. Daily disciplines done right over time work big for everyone when you have the long-term game in mind and you're willing to learn how to get better. And the only way that I know how to get better, pardon me, the best way I know how to get better is to get into the arena and battle. Get into the, the dance floor and just dance. Now, those of you who have seen me dance know that i got a long way to go on dancing. Well, these videos got a long way to go too. You know, we're just getting started at it. we got a lot of stored up knowledge, a lot of business expertise and experience here that I've learned by winning, by losing, by getting out there and giving it a shot. And that's what I'm going to do in these videos. So I'm thinking specifically about Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. And beginning my podcast. Those are the things I'm going to work on tonight. I'm going to spend 15 minutes on each of them, high-level brainstorm topics for the next three weeks to see where we can come with it in, in the next uh, two to three hours. Uh, and then I'll do a video on that and just share where we've come. And that's the mission is to get a little bit better, a little bit more experienced, a little bit further down the road. Each and every time I do this, it builds up over time. And then we hit the max capacity point. We hit the critical mass. We hit those 10,000 hours that you hear in Malcolm Gladwell's book. Uh, we, we, we hit that. And when we do, watch out. Because the amount of skill that comes into the content, the amount of heart and passion that comes into the content, uh, it just gets bigger and better all the time. So tune in. Buckle up, friends. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. I hope you enjoy this and I hope that you yourself are going to take your time and think about what is it that you really want to accomplish. I heard a story, uh, my wife and I had watched this, this movie recently, a documentary on Amazon Prime Video called Free Solo. It was the story of Alex Honnold who had climbed El Capitan in Yosemite National Park without ropes. This is a 3,000 foot tall mountain. In Yosemite National Park, it's considered the, uh, you know, the the top of the mountain, so to speak, like the, the the best place in the entire world to climb by many. And he did it without ropes, and he did it in like three hours and fifty-seven minutes. Amazing, amazing. What do you pull from that? What do you learn from that? What's his contribution in the world? Well, if Alex ever hears this, I'd say thank you because the contribution shows that with hard work, commitment, and the commitment to learn how to improve, and the commitment to focus on your craft and get better at it. Those are the things I learned by watching that video, and that's exactly what I've been doing, and I'm going to keep doing until we get better and better and better. I challenge you, friends, listeners, readers, followers, however you're consuming this, to keep working hard to be the best you can be, to push yourself to your limits because we know no limits, and to indeed live a legendary life.